Hello, this is Gamer Z1, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the CXMB onto your Vita. Well, first you have to open up this, and by the way, you're going to need the beta version, so make sure you're using the beta, beta version of the exploit. You're going to have to open up this, click Start, and make sure this is on. To enable unsafe homebrew. And after that, you have to restart your Vita. And then, let me get out of that. Then you open up this one. And what you're going to have to copy over to your Vita is uh, you see that config file? Config text? You have to copy that over to your PC. After you get that to your PC, well, there's also another file. Let me just show it to you right here. You see the, the bottom file? You're going to need that file. I'm going to have the download link in my description. And you see the eBoot? The eBoot file will be in the description too. But, let me just extract that. Now, where the eBoot file has to go is in here. After that, you rename it. Rename. Now, now you name it to 661. And that's all you need for that. After that, next and also, um, one more thing. You're going to need the README. The re README contains everything you need to know. And all right. I'll show you where that file needs to go. Now. After I get this to adjust. All right. You see where it says PSPEMU? You open that up. See... You're going to have to create a file called ISO to be able to install your games. But right here is the file, as you can see, at the top. I'll just open it up for you. This is how it looks after everything's been done and the, the, it actually installed the Flash for the PSP side. So now we actually have the actual flash now for the PSP, and that's what makes you be able to run the XMB and everything. But, and yet you can do this all through uh, FTP, which doesn't take very long because they're not very big at all. So, it doesn't take very long at all. Alright, I'll show you the next thing you need to do. Alright. Now, open up the config text. By right clicking on it. Where are you? Right, you see, edit with Notepad. You're going to have to download that. Mm -hmm. I recommend it. Because it puts everything the way it needs to be, as you can see. And now, one second. And this is the uh, README file. It has everything you need to do. And we're copying from here. Now, taking this one, copy, then you go under kernel, enter, and then paste. And then next, you see where it says title? Copy that, the whole thing, and then copy. Well, actually, you don't even really need title. I'm just copying it in there just because. Give me one second. There we go. Then paste that in there. And I'm going to exchange it with my game title. This is my game. This that will not work for you, by the way. You have to go and get the game name for yours. 
which is not the actual name, it's the file name. And you copy that. And you go right where title is at. Give me one second. Crap. Give me one second. I'm just having trouble because I'm, I'm looking through a camera while I'm doing this. I'll just. There we go. And then paste. Then after that, go back to the README. And you copy the next two lines. Don't copy all of them at once because for some reason it just grabs ridiculously. It just does not copyright. Copy. Paste. And then next. Grab this one. There we go. Copy. And then paste. After that's done, now you just need to save. Boom. And yes, it's all done. Now it's complete. Now all you have to do, let me close that is recopy that file back in where I told you to get it from. Give me one second. The TAI file. There we go. Now copy it back in there by FTP and make sure you copy the other file I told you to copy in as well into the PSP EMU file. And make sure the eboot is inside that file as well. But make sure you renamed it to six point well not six six one. That's all you need. And then it should have dot pub. And after that PBP, by the way. It's six six one dot PBP. And the PBP is in caps. And it should already be in caps when you download it anyway, so just don't mess with it. But that's all you need. And then after that, you restart your Vita, by the way. Make sure you restart. And then you're all good. You just close that. Make sure you rebooted. And then just open. You'll get the text. If you didn't get it right, it'll turn, it'll be black. And then there you go. Loaded and uh, working. I tried PS1, by the way, to see what would happen. Nope, it doesn't not work yet. He said he's going to be adding that in later, though. But don't expect to have that until, like, February. But everything else works. Except the camera. Don't use the camera because it kind of freezes the system and makes it crash the uh, emulator side of the PSP. So don't do that. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, ask any questions you need. I will try to answer them as best as I can. Alright, have a good day.